The swamp of the establishment, the British civil service are launching a new plot to stop the Rwanda plan, but this time Priti Patel is not giving up. In this video, we're going to tell you how she's fighting back. Hello everybody, welcome to the first the news update of the day. Yes, it's doom and gloom, but there is happy ending, hopefully, hopefully, at the end of this story. We have the Rwanda partnership, and uh, the whole idea is uh, not necessarily to be a deterrent, as we know, it's not a magic pill, but it is, it is a start of something beautiful to protect our borders. So simple. But British Civil Service, the same idiot who've been having a meltdown. They want to go on strike the Home Office civil servants and have fighting back against their bosses, who are us, the taxpayers and our elected representatives. They have now, they have this um, independent advisory group on country information. <laughs> it's a long one, isn't it? Yeah. These quangos exist to drain the budget of this country, take your money to exist, with their gravy on the train, their gravy train and all that nonsense. The whole point of it is to sit around, to come up with new ideas, to stop progress. Now, essentially, the Chief Inspector of Borders and Immigration, they've come out to uh, start this uh, tender. Uh, basically, they're going to uh, ask the government. It's almost like a court case, it's an inquiry to say, you need to prove that Rwanda is a safe country. Uh, that we, that's already been done. The same people, the same civil service, who are now in a different form, they're called Quangos, they were already investigating Rwanda for years. They had meetings, you had politicians, Priti Patel going there, you know, you had you know, Rwanda in the United Nations and all that. It seems okay. It's got the, you know, the green tick and seems to be approved. It's all part of the excuses that they have to find ways to stop the Rwanda plan, because th that way they could stop any border control policy. These people are the same idiots who their private conversations in this anonymous group chat sort of thing was leaked a few weeks ago when Priti Patel announced the Rwanda plan. Uh, they were you know, saying that we should go on strike collectively courageous just to say no as a department. So we're not going to work. We're not going to do the Rwanda plan. We're not going to send illegal migrants somewhere else. Uh, saying that flying people to Rwanda will help us reach net zero targets. That was uh, essentially being sarcastic. Uh, yeah, but on the plus side, Priti Patel is not listening. That's good, right? That's new. No U-turns. Not only that, uh, she's uh, preparing the planes for May this month to, st uh, to start sending the illegal migrants to Rwanda. And this time, in order to block the left-wing lawyers, activist lawyers, and now the actual civil service who are fighting against the system, she says legal migrants only have one week at any point, basically, when they arrive. One week to make their case against uh, being sent to Rwanda. If you can't make a case, then goodbye. Done. You go to Rwanda, you be processed, and then we'll see what happens. It's not really rocket science. And I'm actually, for once, I am praising Priti Patel. It is one of those things that, of course, when the official uh, the flights start happening and we'll see the kind of long-term effects of it. You have to be patient, yes. But at the same time, she hasn't U-turned. She hasn't come with excuses. That is a good sign. We're going to come back. We have a lot of news updates for you guys today. So if you want to stay up to date, then subscribe to the channel. That is fighting back against the complacency and bias of the mainstream media. Subscribe to the channel. I'm my TCNV. Are the media.